Have you ever wondered what's up with the castle on Conklin Road? Fox 40's Legacy Landmarks reporter Amy Hogan found out the story behind one of Broome County's most unique structures. You're going down Conklin Road and suddenly there's a big white castle. A castle tucked away in Conklin, New York. Now part of the town hall, but it's been here for over 100 years and it still stands out. Sort of like, okay. Built by Alpheus Corby. Who was sort of an artist and sort of a, I think a bit eccentric. Corby, not one to conform, especially when it came to his house. He wanted to make a statement with his house. Was inspired by a recent trip to England to visit relatives. He and his wife Anna, they became enamored of the castles of Europe, so he built a castle for his wife when he came back to, to Conklin. It was this room at the very top of the castle that was Mrs. Corby's favorite. She could sit up here and look out at what used to be farmland. Unfortunately, she didn't live very long. And neither did Alpheus. Both died by 1918. But the castle went on to house the undead or so it said. The urban legend that surrounds the castle is that the uh, ghost of Rudolph Valentino, he's a silent movie star for anybody who's, you know, under the age of 30, he, that he came and visited here. That was the basis for Carol McKinstry's spiritualist church, which was in the building for a handful of years. Valentino Memorial Church of Psychic Fellowship which of course we all know and love. McKinstry claimed Valentino's ghost would appear for two hours each night, dictating a film script, which McKinstry tried to produce. She left the area and tried to peddle the script until her death in the 1950s. The movie never got made, and the castle transitioned into yet another phase, falling into the hands of George F. Johnson, who used it for his latest charitable venture. For a, a facility for disadvantaged children. The children's home never really took off, only lasting two years. In 1944, Johnson turned the building over to the town. With a stipulation that it's always available to use for the community. Today, multiple organizations use the castle for meeting space, and the town is looking for ways to preserve the landmark, which has been placed on both the state and national historic registries. Our long-term dream would be to restore it to what it was when it was a home. Unfortunately, we've had two devastating floods that have just taken the financial resources and time and effort um, to rebuild the rest of the infrastructure. The town is in the process of applying for grants, hoping to restore Corby's castle to its former glory. In Conklin, for Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Amy Hogan.